What is going on, my mad people? It's your boy, the Mad Crown on Mad and I'm here to review to you Blood Brigade Battlefront and beyond. <laughs> Seriously, it's, every time I hear that title now, I can't stop thinking about Buzz Lightyear and his slogan, Through Infinity and Beyond. But yeah, but anyways, now that you mention it, you got four Bs now. You got Blood Brigade Battlefront and Beyond. So that's four B. You see, my sister called this triple B, but now I have to call it the triple B now. Call it triple B. So I don't know what's called the B's, man. <laughs> Anyways, this anime picks off right where it left off in the first season. Now, as first impression goes, this has a lot of expectations into it. Will it be better, or will it be worse, or will it be just the same? Mostly for second seasons, it always seems to fall short. So. However, this one is so far doing right when it comes to story and character rights so far. Now let's start off with the opening. The opening is catching, it's interesting, and I do see some symbolic things that could foreshadow what's going to happen within the story. However, it's not as good as the first season. I don't know what's up with Japan Animated Studios, but every time they do openings, they can never do it right as the first opening. Like, they have the first opening that's really well made, and then the second opening is like, meh, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's okay. That's it. And okay, it's just not good enough. You're trying to, you're trying to make things better. <clears throat> so anyways, um, it's good to see Studio Bones have not lost their touch with this. They haven't, um, like, it's not been out since, like, what, 2013? So, for me back now, four years later, it's just been a grand... Just my friends, me, my sister, which is excited about this anime. We're extremely excited to see this. <sighs> now let's get on to it. The story takes off where the last season came from. Him writing his sister as usual. Leonardo is always writing his sister, letting her know that he's doing okay in Salem's Hell Salem's lot. Which is pretty much a world where um the magical world meets the human world and it comes together so you don't just have humans but now you have monsters as well in the setting of new york which is known as hell sales lot and i gotta say one of the best things about this show is the characters and the atmosphere of the world most of the times when you're watching an anime you really just focus just on the main characters and the story and yes there is story here but it has a lot of very fleshed out, well-made characters. Each one of their own true and interesting personalities of how they handle situations. But not only that, but also the background characters themselves have such splendid personalities as well. It's like these people themselves could actually be from a, another show if they weren't put in there. It's how it's just amazing how they do that. Like, the, the whole entire atmosphere speaks of New York. You just feel like you're there, everything's busy, everything's loud, and stuff like that. Even the music itself really complements the art style and the art animation of how things are going. So, after Leo and the game, the Blood Brigade Battlefront, it's in just an ordinary day, you know, running and fighting from danger, every day facing death on a daily basis. Leo finally gets himself his own room, but however, thanks to the latest mission, it is gone. <sighs> the mission was for him to take the president's head, which is a robot conspiracy theory by the way, and bring it back before the ceremony begins. Now, the whole entire theme of this episode is when you're being when you work so hard to get somewhere, but you're somehow find yourself end up back from square one. Because you went all from here all the way to there, and all of a sudden you just fell all the way down. You don't. You can have your pity party, but you gotta get up sooner or later and climb back up where you belong. That's the whole entire theme of the episode. And it started off with Leo making his way all the way across Hellsand Block to deliver the head, only to get knocked back all the way to square one of the first of this episode. And then after that, his anime, his um, apartment blew up. So now he has to go back where he came from in the first season, where he was living inside the office. So after all that work from having his X station and the double X, I guess these are parodies of the PlayStation and the 
Xbox 360 or just Xbox. But still, it just sucks, man. Imagine you working your way up, you find your own apartment, you're your own man, and then all of a sudden, boom, it all goes in front of your face. So I guess everything pretty much started off how the first episode did in season one. It was chaotic, and um, everyone's doing their own thing, and then now he's living inside the office. Just like the first episode, so it brought back that. This is the same Blood Brigade battle card we love from season one. So we have that to look forward to. So then of course, the king of depravity is still around causing trouble. And just, he's, he's pretty much the joker of this anime. He is the joker. He's always getting out. He's always causing trouble. But yet, he does it for a reason though. So yeah, the animation was smooth. You, you expect nothing less from Studio Bones. Come on, Studio Bones always bring in the best when it comes to fight scenes and animation and also good music as well. The openings was man, other than that, it was good. I enjoyed myself and I can't wait for more, man. I was like, I'm telling you, this this fall season turned out really well, by the way. So many good anime is coming out. And I'm excited to re watch it and review it with you guys. So tell me what you think about Blood Brigade Battlefront. Did it meet your expectations? Was it amazing? Did you enjoy that opening more than I did? And are you looking forward to see what happens next? That's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Marco Madman.